pieces are a bit challenging. So I'm <laughs> glad to see that you are here and um, want to hear about them. A few years ago, I had been, I had been studying portraiture in uh, Italy and in, um, and in New York. And I was um, working with a teacher in East Hampton, New York, and I decided that I wanted to do a self-portrait. So I proudly showed her my portraits that I had done, and she said, well, you know, anyone can do those. Why don't you do something interesting? <laughs> and so I thought, oh, okay. Um, so she said, she suggested taking two mirrors, which is an old master's technique, and, and work with them and draw them and do a self-portrait that way. So I took the two mirrors that were um, countertop standalone countertop. And I juxtaposed them one behind the other. And I got out my charcoal and my newsprint and I just started drawing. And these came very rapidly. And, you know, at first I was like, hmm, these don't look anything like me. I, I wondered who these are. And then, you know, I really got to understand them and, and to love them because I feel that it's so time is so if we as women are not allowed to show our emotional life and we hide behind these masks. So I had taken off this mask or I was, you know, forced to see myself in another light because I was looking at two mirrors and the lens was very distorted. So anyway, so I looked at them and then I thought about how gendered beauty is in our culture and what you know what we are told is beautiful and that we as women are told that you know we have to smile and be compliant and sweet and kind and that that's beautiful when and but we are full human beings with a whole range of emotion and this is what this showed me so i got the idea of doing unsilenced women and then the these that you see above you came next this was you know, a few years later, the Me Too, Me Too movement was bubbling up, and I felt it, and I started um, drawing. I felt the, um, the cultural shift. I felt the, all the women around me. I felt this anger bubbling up and rage, and I, so I just started painting these women, and um, actually I took a class here with Allison, um, I don't know where you are. Oh, there you are. She um, is a gold leaf expert. And so some of these have, um, one has a little gold cross on his face, one has a gold tooth. But I, I was able to rent a uh, space in Allison's studio. Um, and I worked there for three weeks and did these, these four in a row. And anyway, so these I call the Sibyls because I feel in, that they are, in ancient Greece, the Sibyls were prophetesses and oracles, and I feel that this is what these women are bringing. They are speaking their truth. They're showing all the complexities of a woman's emotional life. And um, and then I did, you know, they came from mythology, they came from history, they came from lived experience, and so there's Medusa. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Interestingly, I was just, I had an art critic look at my work and these two men said, you know, we like these, but you know, the pitch is a little too high in these. Could you, do you think you could just tone them down? <laughs> and I thought, did anyone tell Caravaggio when he did his Medusa, which is, you know, to tone it down or any of the other works that we see. Mm -hmm. So I just feel that it's really important that we, give we as women give each other the um the confidence to express ourselves i feel our world as gabby said is in such turmoil and we need our voices to be heard we need to unsilence ourselves and this is my contribution and um so thank you